Jordan. I hope you're having an awesome day today. I sure didn't miss you a lot today, but I bet you're having an awesome time with your mommies. Um, I just wanted to remind you to make sure that you're practicing your everyday video. Remember, this is the new everyday video. Make sure you're practicing the one that has the three charts and not just two, okay? You should be doing your chart number six, number six which is a yellow chart that starts with our CK says K -K as in duck. And then there's the blue chart, and that is chart number seven. Starts with br 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 as in bride. But then we also added the new chart. And our new chart starts with THR says th 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 as in three. Let's practice this one one more time just for a little extra practice, okay? THR says th 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 as in three. AR says RRR as in stars. CH says ch, 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 as in church. OR says or, or, or as in morning. OU says ow, ow, ow as in out. OW says ow, ow, ow as in owl. OW also says o, o, o as in bowl. ER says er, er, er as in verse. UR says er, er, er as in nurse. Good job. So keep practicing those. Well, you can keep practicing the other side too. But we haven't learned those yet. Just keep practicing them with, with um, mom or dad or brother or whoever is helping you with your work. So we're on lesson number 141. I hope I said that already, that we're on lesson 141. And you're going to do a couple of new things today with mom. And I think you're going to love it. Um, the first thing you're going to do is mom has a list of words that I wrote. The first thing you're going to do is... Mark your special sounds and circle your vowels on that page. And then you'll be able to read those words so good. I know you're going to have a great time and be able to do it so easy. The next thing you're going to do is spelling. Now, we've done this a couple of times on our dry erase boards where Mrs. Snell has given you a word to spell and you sound it out in your head. And remember, you do your blend first and then tag your letters that you hear the sound of at the end, okay? But today you're going to talk to mom about making some words long. Let's go over if there is our rules about vowels, okay? When there is one vowel in a word, it usually says it's short sound. When there are two vowels in a word, the first one says it's long sound and the second one is silent. So make sure you remember that when you're sounding out words, if you hear a long vowel, you're probably gonna have to add that extra E at the end or somewhere another vowel in there so that you can make sure that you have two vowels in the words to make it say it's long sound. Um, and then you have some writing pages and I think you're gonna have some science fun today and you're going to write some spelling words. It's like the big kids. You guys are like almost first graders now and so you're getting to do all of these super fun things that first graders get to do because you're almost there. You're doing such a great job. Then let's talk about some numbers. Do you see some over here? So these are some adding numbers that we've been doing. I'm gonna move my camera just a little bit so that you can see this, okay? <clears throat> hey, Beth, will you move that book? So I'm gonna put this over here so that you can see these numbers better, okay? Yeah, stand right there just for a minute. Stand right there. That's blocking our glare just for a minute. So we are talking about the A family today. And when we add A plus zero equals A. And then we have a twin. Remember when we flip these, we have our twins. Remember our twins that are hanging up in our classroom? Now we have zero plus eight equals eight. Then we can start at number one. One plus seven equals eight. And it's twin. Seven plus one still equals eight. Why did I put this? Did you see that? Equals eight. And then six plus two equals eight. And two plus six equals eight. Take a step this way. And good. Three plus five equals eight. And it's twin. Five plus three. We just switched those numbers, but it still equals eight. And then this one is four plus four. We could switch those too. So it would say four plus four again. But those numbers are the same. We don't have to switch those. Good job. All right, thank you. Guys. <laughs> thank you very much. It's okay. 
So practice those today. Mom, if you don't mind to go over the eighth edition family a little bit more and do it a few times, they keep back, then it will get easier and easier. And just remind that some of those are twins, so we can just flip those numbers and it's twin. Still equal the same, still the same, just flipped around the different way. So practice those today too. And don't forget, if you have not sent me your Bible verses, to make sure you do that. I think I only have a couple that haven't sent them to me. So Keep up the good work with your Bible verses. Keep doing a really good job with your counting and your reading. And I think you guys, you're going to be done with this kindergarten stuff before you know it. I think first grade is right around the corner. And I'm so excited for you. And I'm so proud of every single one of you. And I miss you all so much that it makes me so sad. But I know that you're having a great time. So I love you guys. I miss you. And have an awesome rest of the day. This was a super short video. So have a great day. I love you all.